I think it is very much on all of us to utilize whatever skill that God has given us mm -hmm. and that we have been able to develop over time in order to continue to do better and continue to contribute to a better world. Hello, this is Cleantech Business Club from Intersolar and the Smart E here in Munich 2023. So, so busy time, yes. We get nice events, uh, a lot of people around, I think more than 100,000 visitors. And now it's the last day of the show. And we are actually uh, together with Thomas Altman, who is uh, Executive Vice President at Aqua Power for Innovation. But in our club, he's uh, co-chair of the World Clean Tech Startup Awards. So I would like to thank you, yes, because uh, you pushed uh, the club two months ago to start the first edition <coughs> of the World uh, Clean Tech Startup Awards. And uh, I would like to also thank you and especially Paddy for giving uh, the name to the award, yes, because the first edition was with the name of Paddy Padmanathan, who practically drove the company from three persons company to over 30 billion of world company. So, Thomas, why did you push me so hard, you know, in order to make this uh, awards competition mm -hmm. right now at InterSolar? So, thank you, Thomas. First of all, thank you for having me here. It's always a pleasure to work with you and to be at InterSolar. Um, why this is uh, why Aqua Power stands behind this award? Uh, basically, Aqua Power's growth strategy is driven by innovation, mm -hmm. and uh, we always uh, welcome visionary startups uh, to join us in our mission uh, to pave the way for a, a sustainable and greener future. Uh, this kind of competitions, which we do uh, around the world, is uh, a thriving ground for innovation. We are happy to be part of that, and we are welcoming uh, the winner to come to our Dubai office and uh, meet our experts. And Aqua Bauer is a, is a leading developer. Uh, we will support the next steps in ID development and implementation. Ah, so I think uh, this is a so, great news actually, yes, yes, because the most important at the end of the day for the startups yeah, is yeah. to get investments yeah. and uh, yeah. to grow yeah, and yeah. scale up. And Aqua Bauer is always uh, implementing a created value by, uh, by developing a sustainable and impactful business. We just launched uh, the competition a uh, few weeks ago and then after two weeks we got 32 applications yeah. from 21 countries, from five continents and actually we got one more from Australia, from the six, but uh, unfortunately yeah. it was uh, after the deadline. And it was also across uh, the industry between hydrogen production, hydrogen storage, batteries, uh, many clean deck topics and it was really uh, very uh, exciting to see all this uh, resonance uh, this, uh, for, this, for this first award, which is just a very short time announced before. So it's a great success. Congratulations. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> you joined Aqua Power uh, many, many years ago. In your eyes, how did you observe the growth of the company and how do you think that the company will be growing in the future? Well, I can talk about uh, the, the past, not the future. The company has a massive growth uh, in the 17 years. It expanded from fossil power and desalination into renewable space and into batteries and into recently into hydrogen. I think one of the recipes in Aqua Power is that the, the people have innovation in their DNA. And so we, we live innovation. Uh, innovation is uh, our daily habit. And that makes Aqua Power a very powerful uh, group of people which, which uh, challenge and disrupt the status quo yes, every day. Because at the end of the day, it's uh, not about B2B, B2C, but it's about H2H, human to human, and about the power of the team, yes? And of course, supported by the latest technological advancements which are available for us. We spoke uh, two days ago and we continued here at InterSolar our discussions about uh, Aqua Power Innovation Days. So you had first uh, Aqua Power Innovation Days uh, last year, yes, and uh, you will organize the next one yeah. in January and we discussed together yeah. with uh, Cornelius, with uh, DII, with Cleantech Business Club, with World Cleantech Awards to join forces to make it uh, yes. the best probably yeah. event ever, yes. The Aqua Power Innovation Days was uh, launched first time last year uh, in, in March and it was uh, supposed to be a small event to exchange scientific information and news and developments and report about our progress from our from our pilot projects, 
and it, it turned out to be a significant event with uh, despite the pandemic restrictions at this time we had 130 people uh, on site and we had 680 people joining via zoom and uh, youtube and so we were extremely excited about these this results and uh, the next one, uh, which is coming in January 22 and 23, will be uh, even we decided to go for much bigger than, than it was in March. And we are extremely happy and excited about the collaboration with uh, Cleantech Business Club and with DRI, which will have partner meetings on site and we will have a very large group of Cleantech entrepreneurs and startups and companies and global players together with academic uh, academia from, from KAUST and we will bring from the top universities from Saudi Arabia and abroad uh, key people. This Innovation Day is, is a good platform for also startups to showcase their innovations and to get uh, recognitions for the effort. It will turn into a global, uh, in an annual and global event which will attract the startups and will provide the platform to help them to further develop the ideas and to move to the next level. And I want to extend an invitation to everybody who is interested to, to join us uh, and to, to come together again in 24 at the Innovation Days. This year we had our first edition of uh, the World Clean Tech Startup Awards. Next year it will be of course uh, bigger because yeah. we work in uh, advance. And what would be your recommendations for the yeah. next edition? First of all, we are very excited that we are sponsor of this uh, Startup Awards and uh, together with our strategic partners, CBC, DRI and INES, the industry experts and the leading clean tech entrepreneurs. It was a very powerful team, a very, a very uh, good way of working together. We have a winner on the front of development uh, and innovation. Being the first time doing it, uh, many things went very well. And uh, how to make it better, it, it's not easy to say because it was already very well. Next time we have more time uh, to reach out to more groups. And uh, I know several companies which would have submitted if they have known it a little bit earlier. So they, they were not uh, right up to, up to date. So this can be done in a, in a very organized way for next year. And uh, I'm sure it will be a major success. Okay, thank you so much, Thomas. And uh, last but not least, uh, you were mentioning about our partnership with DII, uh, with uh, Ines, uh, with all the players around the world. Yes. And uh, this is uh, another proof, yes, that together we are stronger. So yeah, we no, agree yeah. with this. Yes, uh, it's, a, it's a good platform uh, towards the uh, same mission. Uh, to pave the way for a sustainable and greener future and we all uh, we all looking at doing that and so it's uh, it's always good a bigger group uh, more parties going the same direction is always uh, a better result than individual players so thomas i already uh, thanked you of course uh, for uh, pushing these awards and also working but uh, actually you would not uh, reach this success without your team yes so let's uh, give you know the final thumbs up and thanks to Sharzi. And also to Ahmed, yes, uh, helped a lot in and the... all the team which has team. contributed and supported exactly. behind the scene. Thank you, everybody. It yeah, was a so major much. success. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, we are looking forward to working with you guys in the future. Thank Very you so much. Very proud to be part of this team. Thank you so much. Thumbs up for Solar. Thumbs up for Cleantech. And for the World Cleantech Startup Awards winners and finalists and all the participants. I think it is very much on all of us to utilize whatever skill that God has given us mm -hmm. and that we have been able to develop over time in order to continue to do better and continue to contribute to a better world.